stair safety. If you have stairs at home, it is recommended to have a handrail for safety. If you have a second story to your home, we recommend temporarily rearranging to have a bed on the lower level so you don't have to climb the stairs for the first few weeks. If you decide to stay on the second floor, it is important for you to have help getting up the stairs with your walker. Do not attempt to go up and down the stairs by yourself until you are more stable. Make sure you have all your necessities with you before going up to prevent having to climb the stairs multiple times. Patients should address the stairs squarely using both handrails if available. When going up the stairs, the patient will start with the non-surgical leg followed by the surgical leg onto the same step. You will continue to climb the stairs in this fashion. If a family member is present, have them follow behind you when going up the stairs. When coming down the stairs, the patient will step down with the surgical leg first followed by the non-surgical leg onto the same step. You will continue to descend in this fashion. If a family member is present, have them stand in front of you to help control your descent in case you lose your balance. If you received a gait belt after surgery, this can be used around the waist by the family member to help support the patient.